So today we are going to be creating a building using arrays. We are continuing with multiplication and we are going to be creating buildings using different arrays so that we can create an array city. Get excited! Woohoo! So let me go ahead and show you guys what you are going to need in order to create your building with arrays, okay? So here are the things that you are going to need, the materials. You're going to need some construction paper. If you don't have construction paper, do not worry. You can use any kind of paper that you have in your house um, and then just color it afterwards, okay? So construction paper. You are also going to need scissors, tijeras, and you are going to need an Elmer's, well not Elmer's glue, no, you don't need this exact one, but you're going to need either glue or tape, whatever you have at home. It, it doesn't matter as long as it's thick, it's sticks, <laughs> just don't use any little mojitos there, okay? We don't want mojitos to stick our, our work together. Um, but yeah, basically you will need these three materials, any kind of paper, any kind of scissors, any kind of glue, all right? So let's get started. Ready? Okay guys, so like I said, all you're going to need is either construction paper or any kind of paper that you guys have at home. It does not have to be construction paper, okay? You're going to need your tijeras, your scissors. You're also going to need um, a glue of any kind. It doesn't matter if you don't have this kind. You can also use this kind. If not, you can also use tape. As well, okay. Um, van a necesitar pegamento. Si no tienen de este, también pueden usar uh, cinta de, de pegar. Okay. And you are going to need a marker. And basically, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be creating different buildings with arrays in them. So, for example, here we have the first factor tells us uh, how many rows. So I have one, two, one, two, three rows, right? And the second factor tells us how many are in each row. I have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then our product tells me how many there is in all. So I know that three times three equals nine. We are going to be cre creating an array city using these buildings with the windows. And the windows are going to be creating the arrays, yes! Okay, so basically if you guys see, I already have some papers that are cut up here. I'm just kind of recycling them because it's those are the ones that I use to create these windows here. The yellow ones and then the orange ones. But I'm going to start from scratch so that you guys can see how I created it. Super, super simple. I am going to choose the color blue and the color green, okay, to create this array. And you can create any type of shape for your building, okay? Okay, so for this particular building, I want to make it kind of like downtown, the big uh, reunion tower downtown. So I'm going to do kind of like a straight, basically I'm just going to call it, cut it into that shape of the reunion tower downtown Dallas. And there is my reunion tower. <laughs> Looks awesome, right? And then with this color, I'm going to cut out the windows. Okay, an equal amount of windows. That means that if I put two windows in this row, I have to put two in the next one. If you guys take a look here, right? I put three windows on the first row three windows on the second row, and three windows on the fourth row. They are equal rows, okay? The same with that one. Now it comes time to create our array, okay? And you're going to get your sticky, your glue, glue stick, your sticky, okay? And you are going to, really it's two that fit there. Boom, boom. Now remember the next array, the next row, I'm sorry, 
has to have the equal amount. So I cannot put three on this one. No le puedo poner tres aquí porque tienen que ser igual. So there we go, we have our array. We have created the array. So now I need to identify my number sentence. And remember that the first factor tells me the total number of rows, okay? El primer número nos dice cuántas líneas tenemos, okay? So I have one, two, three, four. So I have four rows, okay? So I'm going to put four times El segundo número, the second number tells us, or the second factor tells us how many are in each row. So in this row I have two, in this row I have two, in this year I have this row I have two, and in this one I have two. Tengo dos en cada fila, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces aquí vamos a poner dos, cuatro por dos equals four times two equals now remember that when we are doing multiplication we are joining groups together so when we join groups together that means that we are going to add them all together and a good way to find out how many I have total is counting by twos specifically with this one so I have two four six eight so four times two equals Sorry. And there we go. We have created our buildings. Now when we put them all together, it's going to be a huge array city. Like that. Something like that. If you guys can see. Beautiful. All right. Now it's your guy your turn. Is your turn to create your own? Um, send me pictures if you guys do this activity. I would love, love, love to see pictures of you guys creating different arrays and creating your whole array world or an array city. Love you guys. All right guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys make a lot of um, buildings using the different kind, the different arrays. And I hope you guys have fun with it. Um, if you guys create more than one building, you can maybe put them on your wall to create your array city. And it would, it would look awesome. You guys will have a multiplication array city. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. Love you. And I will be making more <laughs> educational videos as this, as this goes on, okay? Peace.